So this video is finally happening. May that be a lesson to all you newbies here on this channel that when I say tomorrow, I actually mean next week. And my sensor bleeps don't cover fucking shit. <laughs> Due to my cultural heritage and the ever-increasing number of island followers and mostly because I always want to do this video and it's a perfectly good excuse to do it now I was originally going to be doing a bit of a review of the Mota song for Europe choices but I realized there's a very good chance that the singers themselves might watch this or at least hear about it and I didn't want to demoralize anyone before the competition because I could not guarantee niceness towards their entries except maybe for Pamela as ever since her all about her life I just fall in love with her voice and the tone with her voice and I've been a crazy stupid fan of hers so no matter what she sings I love it actually no scratch that I've been a fan from before I was a fan from the whole play on your audience in the sky she doesn't sound like a share on drugs I promise but that's kind of the tone she usually has so anyway, I still thought that I would stick with the Eurovision-esque theme. Play on! So if you're a subscriber of mine and you don't know what this competition is, I'm giving you a 10 second head start to go ahead and Google it before I find out who you are and I block you. <laughs> so unfortunately, because of politics and because maybe our song choices aren't exactly ideal every year, we've never won the competition. We won the junior one recently. Well done, Gaia. But we've never won the main competition. And so I thought what I would do is I would hold a smackdown year by year, debating who really deserved to win in that circumstance. Um, and since I'm rubbish at making decisions on my own, I thought I'd pull out a number from a hat and just speak about that year to you. One. 2001. Lord have mercy, 2001's winner was painful at best. With its blatant refusal to let go of the decade before it, at the very least, bless it for promoting racial equality. Thinking about it though, I was only nine when this song did come out and I still kind of remember the words of the chorus Although in my head they are, come on everybody, let's do that conga na 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 So I guess there was something a bit catchy about it Oh wait, well that was, that was a different song So this one just... Oh, well this is awkward Estonia Our homegrown attempt that year was this catchy number and although my initial reaction is disdain towards this uh, dancing eyebrow man because now at this point in his career, 12 years afterwards, he's literally milked every ounce of fame. At the time, the song was kind of really good fun. But when it comes down to the final smackdown, I think if we were to be honest to ourselves, Fabitana deserves a lot more props and deserves to win a lot more than Gloria Estonia Ban um, or whatever cheap version they produced. Four! In complete contrast to 2001, 2004 is absolutely packed with classic songs. This is the year that we send the adorable couple who are now kind of not together anymore, Julie and Ludwig, whose musical style was probably like 200 years ahead of its time, but god damn it, it was amazing! Those soprano bits. The cheese just spread on top of it all. And perhaps my personal favorite, the switcheroo. Oh. That being said, the winner that year was just one of those. Oh, it was Wild Dancers uh, by Ruslana. I'm not even gonna speak about it. I'm just gonna just gonna play this clip. Just baby, a crazy, there won't be I oh. You go, you go, Ruslana. <laughs> when it comes to the head-to-head -head smackdown, I'm sorry, Judvik. Oh, uh, we we thought that Popera was our key to success, but then Ruslana happened. <laughs> if we had to get all the Eurovision Song Contest winners ever and made them compete against each other in like a Hunger Games 75th anniversary type thing, where the winners have to fight other winners, we uh, it's without a doubt that Ruslana's entry would still be up there and very likely to do well again. There's just no hope. No hope for the rest of them that year. And the next number we have is, no, no. I cannot let 2004 slip by without these honorable mentions. Firstly, we had Saki Switch Shake It. 
Had my sister and her friends not had a serious crush on him, would I have remembered his amazing dance moves and his really catchy song? Mm, yes. <laughs> of course. That year is the year we also had Bosnia and Herzegovina's um, Euro pop beauty in the disco. Music is what I want. Final year is going to be ten. That was the year we sent Thea Garrett. And, nah, we didn't do too well that year, but she does have an amazing voice, and she is very, very, very cute. Oh, this is my dream. We did have a bird, though, and considering the state of hunting on our island, that is exceptionally risky. The winner that year was German and disgustingly was not Europa, which is probably the reason that she won. Like a satellite. Quirky Lena was Zoe de Chanel before Zoe de Chanel was Zoe de Chanel. So head to head smackdown between Thea Garrett and Lena, the real winner is obviously going to be. <laughs> Elga Bjork, Helena Borch, I don't know this bitch. Second before Thea and before Lena is Azerbaijan with this beautiful ballad. Can I love you also came free with interpretive dance moves for the hearing impaired. So that concludes today's SmackDown. If you guys like this sort of thing, please tell me because I would love to just spend ages just talking about Eurovision. It's not a problem for me. I could do it for ages. It would be my dream to speak to you guys endlessly about Eurovision songs. So if you did like it, just tell me and I'll put more numbers out of hats and I'll bitch some more because I'm great at both of those things. <laughs> um, so this week or maybe next week, I'll put out the second part of Slay My Wives. I have exams, so you have to forgive me for some tardiness. I'm great with excuses though. Um, so please like this video if you liked it, subscribe to see more, and I will see you all sometime next week. Or this week. Depends. Je ne sais quoi.